Greetings and great day, beautiful people. Dr. Dominique Reese here, CEO of Reese Financial Services, where I am the chief financial coach, consultant, and strategist. And I am coming to you today to talk about bonds. What is a bond? Bonds have been in the media lately because of the high interest rate environment that we're in. So I thought it would be cool to share a little bit about what a bond is. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so a bond is a fixed income debt security. It is one of four major asset classes that you can own. We'll talk about that in another video. Bonds are typically issued by the federal government, state governments, and corporations. So there is some variety in terms of from whom you can purchase a bond. Now, how does a bond work? Very high level. It is issued by an issuer, again, federal government, state government, or a corporation. It hits the primary and secondary market where we now have access to it. We can actually purchase the bond at that point. Or you can purchase directly from the U.S. government uh, through Treasury Direct, but that is only for treasuries. As a purchaser, you agree to loan the issuer some money, typically in the $1,000 denomination. Based on what type of bond it is, that, that can vary. I'm not saying you need $1,000 to buy a bond, but most bonds are bought in that denomination. You loan the money for a specified period of time for a fixed amount of interest or coupon rate, as it is called and it's paid annually or semi-annually. So again, it's like an IOU. You agree to loan the issuer some money. In exchange, they agree to pay you some interest, either semi-annually or annually. And at the end of that specified period, which we call at maturity, you'll receive the principal and the interest that you invested. That's it. That's the simple version of how a bond works. Now, two common related risks that you need to be on the lookout for, interest rate risk and reinvestment risk. This is typically the risk involved with interest rates. So interest rate risk, as the interest rate goes up and down, that affects, sorry, that affects the pricing of bonds. So that is a risk to be mindful of. Then you have reinvestment risk, which is basically the rate at which you're able to reinvest your interest. If that rate changes, that also impacts the return that you will get on that bond. So these are two common uh, risks that you would wanna pay attention to. Bonds are typically rated by a rating company. Moody's and Standard & Poor's are just two that you can turn to to identify the quality of the bond that you're buying. So why should you care? Well, there are four major asset classes that you can own and bonds are one of them. So you wanna be able to own as many assets as possible, right? So bonds are something you should consider. Secondly, a bond is an asset class that is typically less risky than equities. So when you're considering your risk tolerance, you wanna consider if a bond is a good fit for you. Bonds are one way to make your money work for you because you earn interest on the money that you invest, right? So now your money's making money. Bonds allow you to own a piece of debt rather than being in debt, which a lot of us are in, right? You can now own a piece of debt, which gives you priority over shareholders in the unfortunate case that there's a liquidation event. So that gets a little bit more specific, but the takeaway here is if you buy a bond from a company and that company goes on, goes under, typically bondholders, debt holders are paid out before shareholders. So there's some likelihood that you may get your money back. And then lastly, bonds become popular when interest rates rise. So like we're seeing right now, bonds are the talk of the town. They are the talk of the stock market uh, because we're in a high interest rate environment. So that's why you should care about bonds. Of course, thank you for your attention. I really appreciate you. And if you have any questions or suggestions on something you'd like me to cover, please reach out to me. Um, and if you're looking for support, professional guidance in your financial journey, we could definitely set up a call. I hope this was helpful for you. And until next time, talk to you soon. Peace.